Alfred North Whitehead, the English philosopher and mathematician, once said that civilization advances by extending the number of important operations which we can perform without thinking of them. I just simply typed plot 3D sine xy and I got this three-dimensional image. That was great. I used to spend years trying to get these kinds of images. It was really exciting. To be able to generate 43 or 100 or 200 uh, places of uh, Euler's gamma constant or any other thing you wanted, it's absolutely extraordinary. Mathematica frees people from the tyranny of manual calculation. And that's important because it allows science to be more inspirational. Within months of its release, Mathematica began to transform the world of mathematical research and instruction. In the next few minutes, you'll hear from some of the people who pioneered the use of Mathematica on the Macintosh and meet its creator, Stephen Wolfram. When I started off doing mathematics, I wasn't very good at it. I never learnt my multiplication tables, and it was certainly the conclusion of my teachers at that time that there was no way I would ever go on and do anything of any kind of quantitative nature or anything um, uh, sort of mathematically oriented. As it turned out, I found out about computers and found out that you could make computers do these kinds of things. We kind of identified several different sorts of mathematics that people like to do. Numerical mathematics, symbolic mathematics, and graphics. The user interface for Mathematica on the Macintosh is a particularly sophisticated one. One of its most important features is the ability to produce what we call Mathematica notebooks, ways of mixing text and graphics together with live Mathematica input. The, the goal of a software designer should be to build a system where people just say, I turn to my Macintosh, I do a calculation. I don't really notice that this is done with Mathematica and that it has a particular syntax, a particular semantics, and so on. The thing that's great about Mathematica on the Macintosh is the, the way that the user interface is built for that particular system. Um, the Macintosh has a very rich user interface environment. What we've done is to build a very kind of graphically oriented user interface that allows people to do things like build up interactive textbooks um, that make use of nice fonts and uh, uh, nice kinds of graphical ideas on the Macintosh. And that's something that the kind of Macintosh environment and Macintosh culture has uniquely allowed us to do. So what one really wants to do is to build a system that's so natural to use that nobody notices it's really there. Today, professors at universities across the country are using Mathematica and Macintosh to educate a new generation of scientists and mathematicians. I suspect it's the case that most kids think that mathematics is probably the worst subject to deal with, you know. They hate the math lessons. Um, we want to change that. I th think one of the things that I'd like to see happen as a result of Mathematica is that a lot of high school and elementary school kids for whom mathematics is right now their least favorite subject, um, that it becomes one of their most exciting subjects. One day last, uh, oh, last winter sometime, we saw Mathematica run. And I think it occurred to both of us independently, you know, Mathematica can teach calculus to students who couldn't get it the standard way. Now here we have a textbook where all the examples are actually infinitely many examples. Every example can be rekeyed, re-executed, and so what we have is a, is a book that may look like it has one page when it in fact has a hundred pages sitting on one page. In the Macintosh, uh, one can actually feel comfortable editing back and forth, and it is like a dialogue. It is like the student is carrying on a conversation, a very friendly conversation, with the author, the initial author of the notebook. We believe that the Macintosh is the correct choice for using Mathematica as a teaching tool, because the student is not bogged down with programming difficulties or editing difficulties. I believe Mathematica can open up a beautiful world of scientific inquiry. And I predict uh, that, that math departments are going to see a resurgence in the good quality student who wants to study mathematics 
because so many doors have opened by Mathematica. It was propositioned that if you, if you knew the slope of a, of a plane that you intersect with the cone, uh, that there's clearly some relationship between that and the eccentricity of the conic section that results. And the question was, uh, just how simple is that function? So uh, I, was, I was poking around one day with Mathematica, and it would have probably taken several hours worth of algebra to actually find this, uh, this relationship, because the, the algebra is messy. But with Mathematica one time, I, I just sat down and, and, and typed in the, in the relevant equations and had an answer in about 10 minutes. And so with the use of Mathematica, you're allowed, in some sense, to uh, uh, wander into, into zones of, of thought where you might not be inclined to go otherwise. I teach a calculus course to MBA students. Um, some of them are French majors and history majors. It's very important for me to give them graphical representations of the underlying mathematical concepts. Unfortunately, and, something like uh, that is almost impossible to draw on That's the just what Mathematica is great at. Calculus is about maximizing things. So if you can describe your profit function as a function of two variables, you might be very interested in how to maximize a function of two variables. That means, in, in Boy Scout lingo, that means finding the highest point in the mountains. In the past, uh, computer-assisted algebra, the logarithm, the logarithm, uh, 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 mathematical uh, processing uh, languages were only available like on sophisticated computers, writing. and this made it impossible to put know, this into the mainstream of university or high school education in America. But now, because it's available on Macintosh, a common computer means that we can expect common students to do uncommon things. Mathematica on the Macintosh gives researchers new techniques to gain insight into their work across a broad range of disciplines. There are researchers at universities, government labs, industrial research labs, and so on. One thing that I've been surprised by, pleasantly, I think, is that those researchers don't just come from mathematics and applied mathematics and physics. They come from all different areas. One of the exciting things that I've done with Mathematica was to analyze a case of contested science coming out of Paris. There was an absolutely extraordinary claim made by a scientist that high dilutions would still have uh, very active biological effects. And I was one of a team of people that went over to France to look at this, and I reanalyzed the data later with uh, Mathematica. And in connection with that, this shows uh, uh, what would have been observed if the only effect operative had been statistical noise. That's the, that's the theoretical line that's the dashed line, and the solid line is what actually we observed. And you notice there's just three bins here. And one of the things I did was to compare the graphs using different bin sizes. Very easy to do, and here what you see is more and more bins being added. Initially, the fit gets better, and then as you go on, there's more noise added into the picture, and the noise comes to dominate the entire thing. The very useful thing you can do here is look at the effect in real time of varying the bin size. And it's very exciting to be able to interact with the data in such a quick fashion, go back and forth and see. It gives you a much better feel for the data than you'd otherwise have. One of the reasons I think Mathematica and Macintosh fit together so well is Mathematica is structured in such a way as to allow you to think very simply about the work you're doing. And the Macintosh is structured in such a way that you can interact with the computer in a very easy way. I think the Mathematica notebooks will um, be the first in uh, an ever-changing series of electronic uh, journals. Uh, in this notebook, what I've done is I've, is I've pasted in a, a couple of pictures of, of, of comets, and I've digitized these images, and then I simply pasted them into the Mathematica notebook. What I see happening, and, and if, I, if I go further with this, is to actually show this at scientific meeting. Rather than waving my hands and trying to draw lines on the blackboard or trying to hope that I'll, through my gesticulations, people will understand that I'm talking about comet tails and flowing plasma and everything. They actually see it there in the notebook, and they can test it. They can do their own experiments where they can put different terms in the equations. And I think that allows scientists to review your work much better than simply being in a meeting and, and, re and receiving whatever you want to tell them. I think this is very important for science, and this will significantly advance science. I think science will always have the same amount of perspiration and inspiration as before, but we will eliminate calculus and differential equations and graphics from the um, uh, perspiration category, and that'll give us more time for having more sophisticated inspirations. The quality of intuitions that one can gain in working on a problem in my field or many other fields of science that I'm familiar with 
often is influenced by the quality of the visual imagination one has. And it, when, when that imagination can be boosted and aided and speeded by a graphics presentation system for mathematics like Mathematica, it's bound to improve certain classes of intuitions. I have to admit that I've always had enough government money that I always had programmers working for me, and so I never learned to use the, pro the computer myself. And so it was only the students and the professional programmers uh, who did it. And then I tried to learn using the IBM PC, and I have to admit I hated it because it was so fussy and I couldn't remember whether the asterisk came before or after the colon, and I didn't use the thing for many hours a day. And then when the Mac came, I decided this is the machine for me. And so I have now learned to use it, and I depend on the machine heavily. One of the reasons I think scientists have switched uh, in large numbers recently to using a Macintosh is simply because it's not only easy, but it has very sophisticated uh, software for doing data analysis and especially graphics. And it's uh, very useful to be able to understand data that way graphically. One of the nice things about Mathematica is that it interacts quite successfully with existing software so that you can send out a text file and pick it up in Mathematica, open it up, and do the special sorts of processing at which Mathematica is uniquely good. It doesn't sacrifice other sorts of software. It fits in nicely with them. And I think that's partly a good feature of the Macintosh and partly a good feature of the way all of these programs have been designed to work together. What we were trying to do with Mathematica can be thought of as trying to do for mathematics what the airplane did for transportation. I suppose it's a little bit like being accustomed to going on long hikes and admiring the terrain and the scene and then, and then riding a bicycle and then riding a motorcycle and then riding a convertible. When I was 15 years old, General Motors dropped a big V8 into the Chevy. That was one of the happiest days of my life. I couldn't wait to drive one of those Chevys. And I had exactly the same feeling when somebody dropped Mathematica into a Macintosh SE. Perhaps Mathematica then is, is, is a combination of uh, calculus and a Porsche 911. It's math in the fast lane.